Hi, it's Katrina. From the bones of a giant king to a pyramid from a lost civilization found deep in the ocean, here are 10 of the most mysterious discoveries of forbidden archaeology. Number 10. The Giant King The Teutons were first mentioned by the Romans several hundred years before Christ. As far as historical records show, the Romans considered the Teutons were a tribe of savage Europeans who often went to war with the Roman Republic. They were described by Julius Caesar as a Germanic people, meaning they came from north of the Rhine. Nobody knows exactly who these people were or where they originated from, though some historians say they probably had some relation to the ancient Celts. The Teutons fought the Roman Empire and won at Norea and Arasio in 105 BC. However, they were defeated during the Cimbrian War a few years later. Their leader and king was named Teutobokos, and apparently he was a giant. A literal giant. In 1613, a collection of large bones was discovered by masons digging near some ruins in Dauphine. The masons uncovered a brick tomb about 18 feet underground. It was a very big tomb, and when they opened it, they found a human skeleton allegedly 25 feet long which they assumed belonged to the dead Teuton king. It was described at the time as having teeth the size of an ox's foot, with a shin bone that measured at least four feet in length. However, this discovery was quickly labeled as forbidden and swept under the rug. The actual circumstances of the discovery were murky at best, and the bones were briefly displayed in Paris before an anatomist dismissed them as being the bones of an elephant. In the 1980s, the bones were labeled as belonging to a mastodon, and the legend of the giant king of the Teutons was put to rest. Number 9. The Devil's Bible The Devil's Bible, also known as the Codex Higas, is one of the most forbidden historical books in the world. This massive tome is the biggest medieval manuscript anywhere on the planet, and it's believed to have been written by just one monk who lived in Bohemia, modern-day Czech Republic. The book is 620 pages, three feet tall, and famous for its large and colorful depiction of the devil. The story goes that the book was written in the 13th century by the monk Herman the Recluse, who was sentenced to death for breaking his monastic vows. In exchange for his life, he promised to create the most beautiful book with all the knowledge of his day gathered in one place. Inside the book are both the New and Old Testaments, as well as some collections of historical documents, extreme practices such as exorcism, and medical works of Hippocrates. There are also other parts included from other philosophers and academics of the day. But perhaps the strangest part of the book is that there is an entire page, seemingly out of place, that has a full-color picture of the Dark Lord of Hell. It defies all explanation because there seems to be no reason for the picture to be there. Legend goes he sold his soul to the devil to gain his freedom, and so the Prince of Darkness plays a prominent role in the Codex. Regardless of the legend, the writing of the entire book does suggest it was written all by the same person. In order to create such a giant book in the 13th century, the person would have needed to work six hours a day, six days a week, for five whole years. But because he was a monk and had monk duties to take care of, it probably took him upwards of ten years to write it. Then, when you consider that he actually had to decorate the manuscript and probably made some mistakes along the way, historians estimate it took him between 20 and 30 years. It's a life's work that we are still talking about today. Originally, the Devil's Bible, or the Codex Higas, was made up of 320 vellum pages made from the skin of 160 donkeys. At some point, 10 pages of the book were removed and disappeared forever. If you are curious about it, the pages of the Devil's Bible have been posted online for everyone to see. Don't be afraid. Nothing bad will happen if you read it. I'm pretty sure. Number 8. The Sunken City There has been recent speculation of a mysterious sunken city off the coast of Cuba, which some say could be the lost city of Atlantis. There has been absolutely no official documentation from professional archaeologists. However, that doesn't mean the city is not down there. According to some recent reports, it was an underwater team of explorers from Canada who stumbled upon a strange collection of stone structures while mapping the ocean floor using sonar equipment. They found unusual formations about 1,500 feet below the surface. These formations included geometric shapes and smooth blocks, as if belonging to the ruins of ancient buildings, including pyramids. 
They were scattered across a small patch of ocean on the western side of Cuba. The immediate suggestion was that these structures are part of a lost urban settlement that somehow found its way underwater. The city was so big that it could have held several thousand people, maybe even more. What's truly shocking about the discovery is that early estimates place the ruins at being around 50,000 years old. The earliest people in the Americas are believed to have arrived some 20,000 to 13,000 years ago. So where did this come from? Who could have built this place? If it even is a human-made place at all? The discovery so far remains a mystery. Number 7. The Nampa Image in 1889, a small human figurine was discovered in the town of Nampa, Idaho. It happened while a crew of workers were drilling a well. The small figurine would turn into one of the most forbidden pieces of archaeology in modern memory. It was found at a depth of around 320 feet, which technically would mean it was buried deep underground, many centuries before humans ever arrived in the Americas. This is based on the sediment in which the figure was found. The second bizarre thing is that the figurine was obviously crafted by human hands. It was made in the shape of a small person, with a head, arms, and legs. Even though this was a legit discovery made by oil workers, none of whom had any interest in making it up, the Nampa image, as it came to be known as, has all but been ignored by the modern scientific community. The out-of-place artifact has gained a lot of attention from conspiracy theorists. There are some theories as to where the figurine could have come from. One of the most popular is that it came from the earliest North American settlers around 13,000 years ago and was buried over the centuries by flooding and volcanic activity, being preserved underground until the miner stumbled upon it. A more complicated theory is that the figure belonged to a much earlier race of humans, one that scientists have yet to identify. Number 6. UFOs in Antarctica Something very strange has been found near a remote mountain range in Antarctica. This forbidden discovery was made thanks to Google Earth, arguably one of the greatest inventions for amateur archaeologists ever. While checking out satellite images of Antarctica, an unnamed internet sleuth discovered what appeared to be a pair of metallic UFOs, partly frozen in the snow. At first glance, it seems each craft is nearly 100 feet long. They also look obviously out of place compared to the snowy tundra around them. In reality, the UFOs appear to be twice the size of a standard American fighter jet. They are identical in size, perfectly circular, and may not have been where they are for very long, seeing as they're only slightly covered in snow. They were found next to the Churchill Mountains, one of the most remote places in all of Antarctica. But how do we know these are legit UFOs and not just shiny rocks? The truth is that we can't know for certain. With all the declassified documents coming to light recently regarding UFOs, the military would like to remind us that the appropriate term is Unidentified Aerial Phenomena, or UAP, if we want these things to be taken seriously. And it could be possible that there are unidentified crashed vessels in remote places. But for the time being, scientists haven't answered any questions about them, and pretty soon, chances are they'll vanish from Google Maps altogether. Number 5. Stolen Alien Skulls Researchers were left shocked when they discovered strange, elongated skulls from an ancient necropolis dating back 5,000 years. The skulls were found in the hypogeum of Hal Safliani in Malta. There were almost a dozen weird skulls that may have belonged to a race of people with unusual human features, maybe even larger brains. This discovery has been a terrible mystery from beginning to end. First of all, the hypogeum is considered to be the oldest underground temple and necropolis ever found. The skulls were found back in 1902, with National Geographic even reporting in 1920 that the first inhabitants of Malta may have been a race of humanoids with elongated skulls. The incredible part about the skulls is that they seem to have developed this shape naturally, rather than by some artificial means. In the early 1900s, researchers noted that the skulls did not show signs of cranial deformity by the use of boards or ropes, as with many of the other long-skulled cultures of the world. Instead, the weird shape of the skulls seemed to be completely natural. The science only lasted so long, though. The belief is that scientists can't have everyone in the world knowing that there was once an ancient race of people with elongated skulls, potentially even aliens who somehow got stranded on Earth. By 1985, the elongated skulls were debunked by force. Scientific agencies crawled out of every corner to debunk the skulls as nothing extraordinary. 
Then, shortly after, the skulls vanished from every museum they were stored in. For over three decades now, the skulls have been out of sight, and nobody knows what happened to them, if they were ever actually found in Malta at all. And now for number four, but first want to give a big shout out to Terrific Trisden and Jennifer Ballesteri. Thanks so much for supporting this channel. Be sure to subscribe if you haven't already for more mysterious discoveries. Number 4. The Fuente Magna Bowl The Fuente Magna Bowl is an old and mysterious artifact allegedly discovered in 1549, while Spanish conquistadors were hunting for the capital of the Inca Empire. The Spanish got lost and ended up in Bolivia, where they found the ruins of an ancient site known as Tiahuanaco. This was a large ruin close to the more popular archaeological site of Puma Punku. Archaeologists and historians believe that Tiahuanaco was once the center of a civilization with mysterious ties to the world of ancient Sumer. The reason for this connection is the Fuente Magna Bowl, a unique chunk of ceramic discovered in the broken city that surely belonged to the lost people who used to live there. Yet it is covered in cuneiform script from ancient Sumeria all the way on the other side of the world. What is ancient Sumerian writing doing in the Americas? Dr. Alberto Marini translated the writings into ancient Sumerian. The script has a lot of similarities to other languages throughout the Indus Valley, the original cradle of civilization. But how did the ancient South Americans figure out the exact same script? The unfortunate truth is that nobody has a concrete answer for this. Some say the bowl was crafted by a small group of Sumerians that managed to reach Bolivia around the year 2500 BC. However, as of yet, there has been no way to prove the theory. Number 3. Australian Hieroglyphics Speaking of writing in the wrong place, why are there Egyptian hieroglyphics in Australia that date back 5,000 years? From what we know, the hieroglyphs were first spotted in the early 1900s. There are about 250 stone carvings in the area, apparently linked to the local folklore. But what's really strange about the carvings is that they look identical to carvings found on the walls of ancient Egyptian temples. The hieroglyphics are nearly identical, but for whatever reason there has been no media coverage and no scientists seem interested in investigating them, whether to debunk them as a hoax or certify them as the real deal. The Australian hieroglyphics can be found in the Brisbane Water National Park. Local residents claim the hieroglyphics are very ancient, and even more mysterious is that they haven't been translated by any Egyptologists. Some claim this is because they weren't actually made by Egyptians, but were part of a modern prank, while others believe the traditions of ancient Egypt somehow made it all the way to Australia. How it happened is still unknown. Number 2. Japan Sunken Pyramid off the coast of Japan, there is a stone structure that appears to be the ruin of a primitive pyramid that dates back 5,000 years. In fact, the pyramid is believed to be part of a much larger city that sank off the coast of Yonaguni-jima after a deadly earthquake 2,000 years ago. At least, this is what Masaki Kimura says, the marine geologist from the University of the Ryukyus who found the giant pyramid while diving at the site nearly 20 years ago. The sunken pyramid off the coast of Japan is one of the most controversial archaeological sites on the planet because it has been documented thoroughly. There is no denying that the pyramid exists. It looks like a huge man-made structure that rises 82 feet from the ocean floor. It has smooth levels that are uniform, terraces and steps that are clearly man-made, and there are the remains of what could be roads and buildings scattered throughout the area. But despite the pyramid in the ocean, almost every mainstream scientist has denounced it as a natural formation. But according to Masaki, there is not a single thing natural about this pyramid. Nature doesn't just make terraced pyramids, it doesn't happen. The government of Japan has refused to recognize the area as an archaeological site. According to National Geographic, not a single government group will carry out research or assist with preservation of the mysterious pyramid. Misaki and his team even claim to have found pottery and evidence of humans living there, but nobody else is looking. Never before has such a seemingly real archaeological discovery been swept so efficiently under the rug. Number 1. Organic Artifacts Weird organic artifacts have been found near the Nazca Lines in Peru, and some experts are claiming they could be evidence of ancient life forms. They were found by an unidentified person who claims they are the mummified skulls of aliens. This is one of the weirder and less believable discoveries, but there could be some merit to it. 
The strange-looking artifacts appear to be organic, like fossilized human heads. The only difference is that they have very large eyes and very tiny heads, looking like little green men. In the area, there was also a weird appendage discovered that only had three fingers, with each finger being longer than the average human hand. Together, the skulls and severed hands seem to make up mummified body parts of an unknown life form. Though to be honest, nobody's sure if these artifacts are real. If they are, they don't resemble any creature living on the planet. Thanks for watching! Which of these mysterious discoveries do you think is the most legitimate? Let me know in the comments below, and don't forget to subscribe if you haven't already. See you soon! Bye!